Shalom Shalom and greetings from Teshua Community. I am Ima Raphael and today is the Day of Atonement unto Almighty Yah. So here at Teshua Community, this is a day of fasting. We fast unto Almighty Yah and it started from sundown on yesterday, June 16th, 2024 until today this evening, uh, June 17th. 2024 and I'm only coming to the daughters of to Zion and all the daughters here are going to share scripture with you all with you daughters that know Torah and we want to encourage your hearts today hallelujah last night Zakin Yeramaya taught us about the day of atonement and he read from the book of Leviticus so that's how we're going to start our day also and I want to read from Leviticus uh, chapter 23, starting with verse 26. And it reads, And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a Kodash convocation unto you, and you shall afflict your nephesh and offer an offering made by fire unto your way. And you shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before Almighty Yah. For whatsoever nephesh it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Y'all's talking about his people. The people that know that which is righteous to do. This is a time every year that we afflict our nephesh and daughters can I tell you it's not hard. Once you commit your heart unto Yah to do that which is righteous, Yah will make you ready and you can endure until the end. Hallelujah. So on that note, we're going to start with one of the elders among us if she wants to share a scripture, or even just speak, and it will go around the whole world. Shalom, shalom. We pray that you all take great delight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. 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 I just thank Yahweh for being in the midst. Hallelujah. I thank Yahweh for a lesson that was taught last night, because I tell you the truth, I just thank Yahweh because if we don't obey the word, we're going to be lost. True. I'm thinking for the, uh, the atonement and how we got to do everything that we hear in the scriptures because we're not going to be led wrong. And I, I say this all the time. If we set up on a minister like this that we under and lose, our, lose out, I always say we deserve to go to hell because we know the way and do it. The Bible says we know the way and does it not. We'll be with the many stripes. Hallelujah. I just think of it. I didn't bring up no scripture or nothing, but I just want to thank Yahweh for being in the midst. Thank Yahweh for being among the living and not among the dead. Hallelujah. Yeah. I thank Yahweh for being, you know, just knowing that I'm among Yahweh's people. And I'm, we are all one in Almighty Yahweh. Because he said, He's the head, and we want to be like him. The head is yes. not the tail. Hallelujah. Above and not beneath. Bless you. I just want to thank you all for everybody that's in here. I just wasn't prepared to speak, but I just thank you all for being saved. Just being, you know, just knowing the way and walking in love and in truth. If we don't love one another as he loved us, yes. we lost. Hallelujah. He said we, got, we can't be like him if we don't do what he said. True. He said his word is true and it never he sent it out and it'll never come back for us. Hallelujah. Well, I pray that Yahweh keep us all together because we all two we all are one in Almighty Yahweh. We can't make it if we be divided. True. Our house divided with us. I just thank and praise Yahweh. So I just want to let you know that I'm glad to be in the number. And I thank Yahweh for just keeping me all of these years where he brought me from. I want to sing a verse of this little song that I always sing myself to sleep with. 
Hallelujah. I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Yahweh, for all you've done for me. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you've done for me. Pick me up, join me all around. We thank you for all you've done. You placed my feet on solid ground. I want to thank you for turning me around. Oh, thank you, y'all. Oh, thank you, y'all. Thank you for all you've done for me. I want to thank you. I so want to thank you for all you've done for me. When I was sick, down in my bed. I want to thank you for all you've done. I couldn't even raise up my head. I want to thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all you've done for me. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you, y'all. Thank, thank you for all you've done for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. The scripture, uh, the word that I chose from Zakir Yaramia last night was redeem. So the first scripture that I got was Ephesians 5, verse 15 through 16. See then, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, yes. redeeming the time because the days are evil. Amen. And my second verse is coming from Psalms 107, verse 2. Let the redeemed of Yahweh say so. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And I looked up the word redeem, and it means to compensate for the faults or bad aspects of something. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. 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 Uh, my scripture is coming from Romeo 5.19 from the Woodstock King preached last night. Um, for us by one man's disobedience, yes. and we know that means to, to disobey, to not obey, to not follow the rules, to not follow that that is set down before us. For as, for as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. And as one man did not obey Yah, we all became sinners through that legacy. But by the obedience of Yahshua, the son of Yahweh, who died for us, if we accept his offering and follow in his obedience, we shall be made righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shalom. 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 Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 And three, I sure were able to atone those sins. So the scripture I have that he gave was Romeo 5, 7 through 9. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, but peradventure for a tub man some would not even dare to die. But Yahweh commanded his Ahava toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Yahshua died for us. Yes. Much more than being now justified by his dog, we shall be saved from wrath. Him. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> shalom, shalom. Shalom. Um, I got so much out of last night's service. I, I went to bed full. I got up full. I'm totally out of it for that. Yeah. Uh, thinking on the atonement, what our atonement is, Yeshua Messiah. Without him, we are nothing. Without True. him, we can do nothing. True. We can't boast in nothing but him. Oh, and in yeah. my scripture, knowing that. He's the atonement for our sins. We should always, we have to always go to him daily, repenting for everything we might have thought, said, or done that was not like him. 
And the scripture that I had today was just, when I think about atonement, is repentance. And this one is Psalms 51, where it says, Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to your loving kindness, and according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities, and cleanse me from all of my sins. For I acknowledge my sins before you, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. So on the day of atonement, I just want to keep that prayer for you. Yes, sir. For all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. Our scripture is coming from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Seeing you have purified your love and obeying the truth, through the Ruach of the unfeigned love to the brethren. See that you love one another with for pure love fervently. And the word that I chose is obeying. And obeying means to comply with a command, direction, or a request. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My scripture is coming from Psalms chapter 55, verse 17. Evenings and mornings and at noon we Will I praise and cry out loud, and he shall hear my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, Hoki. Shalom. My scripture is coming from Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But Yahweh commended his love toward us. Yet while we were yet sinners, Yahshua died for us. And the word commended means to give unto another's care, to speak of someone with approval. The only covering we have is the dome of Yahshua. Without Yahshua, we are not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. I told y'all for the message as well last night. And as I came, reminded us that we do need the man. Yes. We do. It's very important that we need the man. Without Yahshua Hamashiach, we have no atonement for us. So I told our youth of that. Every year he preached the messages on atonement, but this year it, it just it was it was tough. It really was, and I needed that. So I told y'all for his son Yahshua Hamashiach. But my scripture is coming from First King eight five. I mean fifty seven and sixty one. It says Yahweh our Abba, be with us as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us nor forsake us that all the people of the earth may know that Yahweh is Yahweh and that there is none else. Let your love therefore be perfect with Yahweh our Abba, to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. So the words that spoke out, that stuck out to me was heart, perfect, and keep. Heart means it's, a, it's the mind, it's not the, just, it's not the organ. It's the mind, and we must have understanding in what we do as we keep his, his um, commandments. And I looked up perfect, it was complete. It means complete, to be full, to be just, made ready, shalom, perfect, and also quiet. You have to be quiet to hear, to see the perfection of Almighty Yahweh. You have to be still and let him and know that he is Yah. And keep. I looked that up, it meant guard, to hedge about, to protect, to observe, to preserve, to save, and to watch. And so the, in this atonement, we should observe our, just watch, just look over the things that we've done over the, over the year, even this week, even yesterday, and observe our sins and how Yahweh has each moment have forgiven us, given us of our sins. And I told you all about that. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> Bless you, Lord. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom. You know what? I stay filled up because this is a one man. One man. As I can't say, one man, one man, one man. Hallelujah, Yahweh. And my scripture is coming from five, uh, Romans 5 19. But one man, I didn't bring my scripture. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Y'all know what? Romans 1, 5, 19, mm -hmm. says, yes. For Romans as by yes. one man's disobedience, yes. many were made sinners, yes. so by the obedience yes. of one, 
shall many be made righteous. That's right. Yeah. This, is, this is the one man's thing. It's one man. One man, by his disobedience, made us sinner. But by one man, obedience made us righteous. Uh -huh. We're not righteous because of ourselves, but not for the good work, but for Yahshua Ramachim. Yes. I tell you again, this is one man. One man. One man. One man, one man, this is one man, one man. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yahweh. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. The scripture that I chose that Zakane spoke on last night is Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Wherefore, wherefore as by one man sin into the world, mm -hmm. sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and also death passed upon all men. For all have sinned, mm -hmm. and he told he gave us the meaning of, of uh, atonement. Atonement, he said, is it can be only paid by death, and to, and also the meaning he gave it was to cover, to rec reconciliation, one, one given by the payment by the body of for payment, and to be covered, and to be covered over. And so our sin must be covered over by the Dharma Yahshua mm -hmm. Hamashiach. Yes. And there was a point that he made. He said, man gives life. And we carry, and we as women carry the life that man gives us. And Yahweh has given us life, and we must carry the word of Yahweh within within us, that we may be able to to be uh, t that our that our sin may be covered under blood and atoned uh, and be atoned for by Yahshua Hamashiach. And I thank Yahweh for the Dharma Yahshua Hamashiach, and I thank you for this day of atonement that He allowed me me to see another day of atonement. I give and told and praise. Shalom, O King. Shalom. My scripture is coming from Luke 8 and 18. Take heed how you hear, for whatsoever you have, to him shall be given, to him shall be given. And whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken, even that which he seemeth to yes. have. Yes. Take heed means to pay careful attention to and to notice. Hear means to gain or to acquire knowledge or to be taught. And if we hear, even the message last night, that was that was a teaching. He yes. talked, and if we listened to gain knowledge, then that's what Yahweh wants. But if we, that's why I said, take heed how you hear, because yes. some hear, yes. and they're they're trying to cause strife mm -hmm. and confusion. Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Zakain and Zakain Yeramia, Zakain Benjamin Real, they make the message so simple that even the children understand it. So when they see something wrong. They automatically like, uh oh, she messed up. So that's the way we have to take it. And take heed, yes. be careful, watch ourselves. Mm -hmm. And like Kanye said, just if we take inventory all throughout the year, all the way up until now, we won't go wrong because we're listening. Like Emma said, we study. We will never make those kinds of mistakes because we're always constantly checking ourselves. Okay, check yourself. Did you said that wrong? Immediately get it right, don't wait. So I just told y'all for the men of y'all that constantly Give us the word and in, in total honesty and truth because without a man there would be no woman. It would just be a woe. We just would be a woe. And I told her y'all for righteous men. Shalom. There's a phrase that Zachary Rami I said last night. And he said, All sin is big. There is no little sin. And I looked up the word sin and it means an immortal act considered to be a transgression against divine law. To offend against Yahweh, a person or a principle. And I looked up the word transgression. And transgression is an act that goes against a law, root, or code of conduct, an offense. And my scripture is coming from Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our shalom was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. For all have sinned. Yes. By one man's disobedience, mm -hmm. sin came into yes. the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And the word that stuck out to me by just reading that scripture is repentance. Mm -hmm. Have we truly repented? Mm -hmm. You know, we can say, well, we know the name. What yes. does that mean? Yes. You know Almighty Yah, you know His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. But have we truly repented? And so I examined me. I examined me. Have I turned from my evil ways? 
do I obey all the commandments of Almighty Yah. In order, daughter, for us to enter into the kingdom of Almighty Yah, we must shoot, we must turn from our evil ways. Yes. My evil ways yes. corrupt me. My evil thoughts yes. damn me. Not yes. anybody else, but me. If you break one of the commandments, then you're guilty of them all. If you steal, you might as well lie. If you commit adultery, you might as well steal. So if you break one of the commandments, daughters, you're guilty of them all. Yes. So by one man's sin, by one man's sin, we all have sinned. Yes. And as the daughters have said, by one man, mm -hmm. deliverance was brought into us all. Yes. We must choose. Yes. Yah sets before us every day. He said, choose tough or evil. Which one do you choose? Yes. Most of the time we choose evil because we don't like this or we don't like that or we don't like the messenger that's set before us. We must choose life to us. Hallelujah. But the scripture I want to share with you, I want to begin with this one. And it's coming from Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Hallelujah. And it reads, when Yahshua heard it, he said unto them, they that are whole have no need for a physician, but they that are sick. I was sick and dead in my sins. Yes. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And daughters, this means we must turn from our evil ways. Yes. You must examine yourself daily. As I hope VCS said, you got to repent every day. You can't repent once a month, mm -hmm. once a year. This is the day of atonement. But we must, when we get up, when Yah allows us to see another day, we must repent before Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. And it reads, From that time, Yahshua began to preach. And he said, Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. When Yahshua began his teaching and going out amongst the world, that's what he taught. He taught for us to repent. See, the Pharisees, they were already righteous. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were more righteous than Yahshua Hamashiach. But once he started teaching, he said, repent. Daughters, you can't keep saying, well, I don't know. Yes, you do know. Even Adam knew. He knew that his wife had sinned. Because she went against what Almighty Yah had told them to do. So once you understand that, you can't, you're can't. you going to be held accountable for everything that you do. And can I say this to daughters? You can't correct the elders. Even if you know an elder is doing wrong, if you are doing what's right, you will know how to approach that elder to show them what's right to do. You can't just go up and rebuke them. Well, I don't like. No, there's a way that you do it, daughters. But you've got to live that life too. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing what's right, how can you correct an elder? Okay. You can't. You got to make sure you're doing what is righteous before Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Ezekiel. Bless you, Yah. Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 30. There's a way that we must walk every day. And no daughter, it's not our place to go around trying to correct an elder. When you just as wick, you're more wicked than they are. It's something we must practice every day. Every day. Even growing up, I knew my place as a young woman. Can I tell you when I came to the knowledge of the truth, I didn't rebuke anybody. I shut my mouth because I didn't know anything. Only thing I knew about was going out to the nightclub, I knew how to do that well. But I didn't, once I came to the knowledge of the truth, and I knew I was made free, I saw it in my ish first. So I shut my mouth and I would just watch and observe. I would hear the messenger, I would take the scripture home, and I would study the scripture. I would go back over the scriptures for my well-being. Y'all tells us we must study to show ourselves approved. So you got to pick this book up every day. This is the daily lecture. We can't be teasing and, well, it was just a joke. No, we got to study. If you study to show yourself approved, then you know how to carry yourself every day. But I want to read Ezekiel 18 and 30. Hallelujah. And it reads, it says, Therefore, 
I will judge you. Almighty God is going to judge us. O house of Israel. He's not talking to the world. The world is doing what they're supposed to do. It's the people of Yah that don't do what they're supposed to do. So he says, I'm going to judge you, O house of Israel. Yael. Everyone according to his ways, says Yahweh. It says, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Your own sins is going to cause your ruin. Not mine, not the one next door, but yours. Yes. That's why every day you can cast down your evil, corrupt ways. Yes. You can be at Shalom. True. It's not hard. True. That's why we can live with each other because True. it's not hard. Yes. I don't fight and kick against the prick. I strive every day to do that which is righteous. Yes. We being elders, we must do that. If one of these young daughters do something wrong, yes, I do. I'll pull them pull them to the side and correct them and then I go to the Ema and say this is what that one did. Yeah. That's all you have to do. I don't get bent out of shape because I know they're young. They have struggles. They have battles. Yes. Because I've been young yes. and now I'm old. Yes. But every day I strive for perfection. Yes. That yes. word Zake spoke last night was truth. Yes. It, was, it, was, it is truth that will make you free. Yeah. Yeah. Not just knowing the name of Almighty Yah and Yahshua HaMashiach, but it's the truth that you hear yes. that makes you free. Yes. And you can discipline yourself. Yes. You discipline yourself every day. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. When you get up, if He allows you to be awakened, even if you're in your sick bed, and Yah what allows you to be awakened, yes. you give Him total. As the old mother said, she, she has a song that she sings every night. Yes. And Yah grants her life again the next day. You give him total. Yeah. Yeah. You correct the young ones even by the way that you live. True. The way that you live. True. And then you, can I tell you, I tell the daughters every day, you exalt Torah. Yes. If you're reading this, then every day you should exalt Torah yes. when, you, when we're together. Yes. Yeah, it's not about food all the time, daughters. It's not like we got six or seven bellies. Yes. We're stuffing it all the day. Yes. But it's about Torah truth because that's what makes us free. True, true. Can I tell you, Doris, you can even have discipline with that. I know sometimes you say, well, it's so hard, all this delicious food, but you're still not a cow. True. So you don't eat like that. True. We must understand as, there's nothing new under the sun. As the prophet did honor, she fasts daily. So what does that mean? What do we think that means? Then we don't graze all day. If you're laboring with your hands righteously, if you're laboring with your hands right, you don't eat all day. There are times you got to make, you must make time for Torah, you must make time for prayer, you must make time for casting down your evil thoughts every day. And that will give you strength. And that way you can overcome. Every day you can overcome. There shall be a great falling away. You can't save nobody but you. But you can be an example. Okay, you said, well, I'm going to start the Day of Atonement. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to help this. No, you must be the example first. And you must be consistent in your being an example. Then you can help your next door neighbor. But if you haven't been an example, if you if the least little thing bend you out of shape, then you're not ready. Yes. You be an example first. You strive daily first. Learn to be pleasant. Learn to love each other. Yes. They say, well, I heard you. You don't know nothing. If you're not living amongst me, mm -hmm. you can't say that. No. Mm -hmm. You got to live with me. That's the truth. As I live with these sisters, I don't just start rebuking nobody for no reason. No. I don't. No. I will call that daughter to the side and say, what's the problem? Yes. That's how I do. Yes. You know, there are times where you find their daughters that just lie because, because that's what's in them. Their yes. father, the devil. Yes. You just lie to be lying, then something's wrong. Yes. And if you all never question that, something's wrong with you. got to question that. Mm -hmm. And yes. if the daughter's report isn't tough, then you know she's of her father, the devil. Yes. In this place, we do things righteously. Yes. Not sometimes, every day. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to read Luke 13 and 3. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally. Mm -hmm. 
13 and 3, and it reads, I tell you, nay, but, except you repent, you shall not, you shall all likewise perish. So it's so important for us to understand that. If we don't truly repent, that means you cast down those evil things. You turn from your corrupt ways. So if you don't repent, shoot from your corrupt ways, you shall perish. You're not going into the kingdom. And just because you're holding that one's hand don't mean you're going into the kingdom. No, yeah. As Granny said, every man shall stand for himself. That's every daughter truth. Truth. shall stand for himself. Yes. I want to read mm -hmm. Acts 2 and 38. Bless you. Then Kephar said unto, said unto them, he said, Repent, be immersed every one of you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Ruach. The righteous spirit of Almighty Yah will enter into you. Yes. If you just practice sin every day, daughters, that spirit, Yahshua is not going to come in an, uh, an unclean vessel. He isn't. The day that Rayak led me to Yahshua Hamashiach, he told me I had to repent. And I knew I was filthy. I knew I was vile. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what to do about it. I did. And if I had never turned from my sins, can I tell you I'll be a corrupt vessel to this day. Mm -hmm. So I want you all to understand that we must repent. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. My last scripture is coming from 2 Kephah. Bless you, y'all. Yeah. 2 Kepha 3, verses 9 through 13. Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of Yah will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what matter of person are you to be? What matter of person? Joking and jiving, giggling, stuff in your face, running from house to house, being a busybody, got to know everything. What matter of person are you to be? In all Kodash conversation and righteousness, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Almighty Yah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So daughters, we know this. That's why you should be serious minded. That's why we should be examples one to another. Letting the light of Yahshua HaMashiach shine from us. We must instruct our children, our young daughters, we can't get weary in well-doing. We must mm -hmm. strive every day, yes. every day in righteousness. And we must be diligent in it. You can say, well, I did righteous yesterday. I'm tired. Today I want to do something different. No. Mm -hmm. We got to be diligent. And diligent means to be uh, preserving and careful in our everyday work. We must be careful in the things that we say. We must govern ourselves every day. I'm not weary in this walk in Yahshua HaMashiach. I started as a young woman. I started as a 21-year-old young woman. When I found that I was doing something wrong against this Torah, I stopped. You all hear me? I stopped. I wanted to be pleasing because I knew I had been forgiven much. And I want to love Yahshua 
as much as he has loved me. Yes. So this is something we must practice every day. I don't get weary in it. We must pick up the daily legend. We share it with our young ones. Mm -hmm. You can't instruct anybody. Listen, daughters, I want you to get me. You can't instruct, instruct no one if you're not doing what's right. Mm -hmm. You can't show nobody how to dress Kodash if you don't dress Kodash. Mm -hmm. If you don't have no fellowship with righteous daughters, how are you going to know what to do? We don't ever think of that. Can I, when you come out of the world, you still got a bit of the world in you. So if you don't know how to dress, how are you going to show somebody how to dress? I'm not worried about what kind of fabric I put on. You all hear? I'm not worried what kind of fabric I put on. There are things out there that I know that I should, if it looks strange, I'm not going to buy it. Can I tell you, Ruah will trouble you and you won't buy it? because you have the Ruach of Almighty Yah, you know there's certain things you can't put on. So we govern ourselves every day. I don't need nobody to come here and say, well, daughter, let me show you what kind of fabric. That got a worm on it. I'm not worried with that. Mm -hmm. I know we should cover ourselves. Yes. We cover our heads. When we pray, we cover our heads because Almighty Yah has told us to do that. Yes. I'm not trying to impress the world. The world's not impressed with you. No way. When you go out, the world's not impressed with you. They look you up and down. Why you got that long dress on? It's hot. Why your arms? Why you don't have your arms out? Well, I'm not going to expose my arms to the heat anyway. I was a young woman when I got saved. And can I tell you, I went to a pharmacy one day. I think it's called Eckers Drugs. And I asked the pharmacist, I said, when I go out in the heat, my arm breaks out in, in pimples. And sometimes my chest would break out. He said, well, why don't you cover them? You think I was excited that he told me that? I got, yeah, I was mad. Mm -hmm. He told me to cover my arms. Well, that's what you should do. Yes. Can yes. I tell you, when I start doing that, the pimples on my arms cleared up. So just that simple thing, we cover ourselves mm -hmm. unto Almighty God. Yes. We live a set-apart life. We don't live like the world. We don't look like the world. No, you don't have to put on no makeup to be beautiful. You just wash your face, put some moisturizer on and go on. Yeah. We don't want to look like the world because everything the world does is polluted. Yes. And you looking at them, you're going to be drawn away. That's why you have to teach your young daughters how to dress, how to conduct themselves, how to repent, how to pray. Not once a month, not once a year during the Day of Atonement. It's something you must practice every day. Yes. Yahshua HaMashiach has already set the pattern. The only thing we have to do is follow. Mm -hmm. So I told him, Yah, for everything he's done for us, in a place like this. So no, they're not men that want to live like this. Mm -hmm. As Yah says, we can't even be unequally yoked. If when two people come together to want to marry, they've got to be walking in truth. If you go out there and you pick something that's not walking in truth, you're going to be messed up. You're going to have struggles and battles, and that's the truth, so help me y'all. Yes. One time I heard my brother say, unequally yoke me, you got to have the same ideals, and uh, somebody's going to the same university. That's not what y'all means. That's not what y'all means. Unequally yoke me, you got to find somebody that's walking in truth. It's a different ball game when both of you wicked, they're married. And when you come to the knowledge of the truth, that's even a greater plus. Yes. And if the daughter, if she married, if a young woman is saved, let me just put this, if it's a young woman is saved, she's walking in truth, and her ish, they're already married, and he wasn't saved. She's not going to preach to him, she just lives the life. Study to be quiet, daughter, you just shut your mouth. Your husband will see your life. He'll see your life. You just be quiet. Don't try to save him. You just be quiet. You just walk in this truth. Peradventure, y'all will save him. Because he sees your discipline. He sees your quietness. You're on your knees praying. You're taking time to study every day. He'll see that. Then he will inquire, why do you do that? No, it's not you beating him over the head with the book or telling him what to do. You study to be quiet. But Yah knows your heart, and He will answer your prayers. The heart is here. Everything surrounds this. Everything that you do, it starts here. 
it starts here. You be even being able to fast unto Almighty God, it starts here with the mindset. You can be disciplined, daughters, and you can walk righteously every day. You can be pleasant every day. Every day. It's not hard to be pleasant. It's not even hard to love. I know you may think it is, but it's not hard to love. Over all these years, I've learned how to love. To love my husband, my age, not yours, but mine. And can I tell you, during the summertime, they say the kings go out to battle. Well, there are things my husband deal with that I don't deal with. So there may be times he come in and he's a little flustered. Or flustered. But I have to learn how to just shut up. Wait on him patiently and shut my mouth. Now, that's a hard thing for you women of color. We don't like to, we won't show everybody what we know. And I'm going to tell him what to do is wrong. It's wrong. You don't tell him, let him tell you. It's wrong. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, daughters, I hope this little short uh, time that we've shared with you, it was a blessing to you. And we will be back. We're getting ready for the feast days of Almighty Yah. So we can't come back to you next week, but we will be back. So just have patience. And if you listen to the teachings from Zakane Yeromia, Zakane Benami, and Rayak Dawi, it'll be a blessing to you. Yahweh Baruch, you all have an excellent, excellent Yah in Yahshua. Oh, I'm sorry. We, have a, we haven't heard from our host, Sakia, our camera person. So she wants to share her scripture with you all today. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Mahokim. Shalom. As Ima said, basically, I'm always basically behind the camera. But the scripture that I have is what quite a few of us all had was like for by one man's sin in Romans 5 and verse 19. But um, as I was figuring out which scripture I wanted to choose, um, I found it, and so I came to Romeo. He asked me to read it to him. So um, he said, well, what, do you, what, what scripture are you choosing? So I told him it was Romans 5 and verse 19. But one of the pointers that he said last night, of course, he said that atonement meant to cover. And he said the only remission and covering we have, the only remission, is in the dome of Yahshua HaMashiach. He said, and the fire that he spoke of last night, it represents the cleansing and the purging. And he said the dome does cover, and not only does it cover, the dome also renews. So um, the scripture, again, was Romans 5.19. It says, for as by one man's of disobedience, many were made sinners. So I was thinking, and I'm like, you know, really one man's sin. But then we thought of, like Yeram and I were saying this morning, Adam, he sinned. But see, everybody said, yeah, it was Eve. Yeah, Eve did partake of that fruit. But Yeram, like he told me this morning, he said, but Yah gave Adam that charge not to eat of the fruit. And he was to tell Eve, he said, and with Adam eating of that, partaking of that fruit of that tree, he said, uh, how did he say it? Yahweh charged Adam because that's who he gave the commands to on what yes, to do. Yes, he said did. Adam was charged in that. He said because Yahweh would not give a charge like that to a woman. He said he gave it to the man. And so Adam had the choice to say, no, Eve, you sinned. But he decided to partake of that sin. So for by that one man's disobedience, we were all made sinners. He said, but by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. He said, Yahweh gave Yahshua the choice as well. Either choose to obey me or choose to disobey. But Yahshua said, I lay my life down. I give it. And because he did that, like both situations did have a choice. As Yerami said, you have a choice of life and death, right or wrong. But Yahshua chose what was righteous. He said, it's not my will, Yah. He said, but your will be done. And if we say that, not our will, but your will be done, we can have that same old testimony as Yahshua had. By one man's obedience, many were made righteous. Hallelujah. I can get along with everybody every day. I have no problem with that. That's not an issue for me. If somebody's always complaining, they're not doing this and they're not doing that. They put all the work on me. No, it's you. Yes, it is. 
Every day I take great delight in working with my hands. I do too. With my hands. I do too. Because I know this community is going to take more than just one individual. Yes. It takes a labor of us yes. all. It takes a willing heart. Yes. You're always looking for an excuse to get out that something's wrong with you, that individual. Yeah. When we came to this community, all of us were excited yes. and gung-ho to do what was right. Yes. You had a few lazy ones, but most of us had that same mindset. We want to do what it takes to live together. Yes. That's what it takes a willing mind. Yes. And you must, you can't live that way here. You're not going to work it. You're not going to do this. Well, I'll show them I just won't eat their food. Don't eat it. Yes. I don't have no problem. Yeah, I sure. taste whatever I cook for the people. Yes. Right? No, I don't sit down and eat a whole meal, but I put the part partake of it because I want it to be done right. And I True. want you to take great delight and how I've labored in the kitchen. Yes. No, I'm just laboring in the kitchen when dish got to be done. The floor must be swept. That's a two for you. The bathroom's got to be clean. Mm -hmm. True. It's hot. Well, in hell, it's hot. Yes. That's yes. how I see it. Yes. So I can endure this heat. Yes. Y'all, there are times I'll say it's hot, but can I tell you, once I start laboring, I'm fine. Yes. Frying those fries yesterday, I had sweat running down my back. But it was like a coolness to the perspiration, so I didn't have no problem with that. Wherever you go, your tub works will speak for you. Wherever you go, listen to me. I want you all to hear me, hear me well. Wherever you go, your tub works will speak for you. Your wicked works will speak for you. You always making excuses. I would, I could, I can't. Can I tell you? And I'm not going. I'm not lying. When I said Dean was a heavy sister, that's Abby's older sister. That woman was a hard worker. Yes. True. She just lost focus. Yes. She lost focus. That's only what happened. She just lost yes. focus. Yes. When anything had to be done, here, Dean did. It. Yes. Yes. When anything had to be done, I learned much from her yes. when it came to the labor. Yes. Whenever anything had to be done, Dean was a heavy sister. Yes. She was shorter than me. But when something had to be done, Dean did. Yes. Yes. You don't know, I know enough about my sins. Okay? Yes. That's true. Yeah. When anything had to be done, Dean did. Dean, and she had back issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dean had back true. issues. Knee issues. True. But yes. Dean worked. True. Yes. She worked. Yes. As Rap spoke about, uh, Connie's mother, Sharon. Yes. yes. Sharon was a worker. She was a hard worker. That is yes. the truth. And that, that this generation don't believe in working hard. They just believe in making excuses. That's right. Y'all say you wicked and slothful servant. Mm -hmm. yes. In hell, you're going to lift yes. up your eyes. Yes. You always, I can't do. Well, you know why you can't do? Because you don't have that righteous True. mindset. Yes. That's all it takes, the righteous True. mindset. Yes. The righteous mindset. I can complain every day. I would, but you know my background. I would, everything, every day something's hurting. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? Make excuses and I get in there and labor. Man. You get in there and you labor. Yeah, true. You do everything as unto y'all. I've always had that mindset. Wherever I work, I knew that I was doing it. If y'all granted me a job, then I was blessed of Almighty God. And I was going to do it to the fullest. That's how you do it. True. Yeah, the, the doors, yes, I do. I listen to what you say. And I watch your actions. And then I know what kind of individual you are. Yes. I listen to what you say. Well, that's me. No, it's not me. Because I want you to hear what I say. Yes. True. I want you to hear what I say. I want you to examine what I say. Yes. I want you to examine and watch me. I want you to watch me. Well, you're you going to talk. I don't care about you talking. Listen, and that's the truth. So help me, y'all. I don't care what you say about me. True. I don't care. I just want to be pleasing before Almighty Yah. Yes. It doesn't matter what yeah. you say. It's what Almighty Yah says at the end of the day. That's what matters. Yes. That's what counts. True. If you're listening to a lie all the day, all the time, can I tell you that lie is gonna pollute you? Yes. If you don't make that a standing say, you're gonna stop that. Yes. Quit coming to me. Can I tell you when I first started walking this way, Rayak's sister-in-law. She and I would have, I've told you this, we would have study together, Bible study. And she started telling me some of the filthy things she was doing. And it, it, when she would leave, I would just feel so vexed. And I said, I did, I prayed, and I said, yeah, if I don't make a stop to this, she's going to corrupt me, and I don't want to be corrupt. 
So the next time uh, Lois came to have a study with me, after we finished reading the scripture, I said, Lois, I don't want to hear about what you do behind closed doors. And she said, why? I said, because it's, it messes with my mind. And I said, I'm casting that, what you told me, I'm casting it down. I'm, I said, I'm so, so vexed, I don't know what, I said, so no more of your stories. Whatever you do, I said, you keep that between you and Almighty Yah. I said, but I know what Yah has delivered me from, so I'm not going to hear it anymore. Lois was a liar, and she was evil. She gets so mad. So you, I said, no, ma'am, we're not going to study no more. You can't, if you got to tell me what you're doing, no more. So we stopped the study. She gets home and she called me. I said, Lois, that scripture you just found. I said, that's for you. It's not for me. That's for you. We got to make a stand. Yes. True. We got to make a stand because that wicked individual is going to corrupt you. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't make a stand. Mm -hmm. I've been young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken. So if you stand stronger, you discipline yourself. You can't stand sure in Yahshua. I know who I am in Yahshua. I know who I am. I don't make excuses. I'm married to a strong man. Yes. Yeah, he set me in order. He set me in order. He shut my mind. It's not my place to correct him. It's my place to shut my mouth, yes. to pray, fast, and seek Almighty God. Yes. Let my light shine that you all can see. Yes. That's my daily walk before you all. And that's what your, your daily walk is too. Yes. So don't be trying to figure out what this one do you do right. Yes. Are you doing what is righteous? Yeah, that's just it. Am I doing what is righteous? Am I pleasing you, Almighty God? Yeah. All every time they call, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. That's your will. That's what the will of Almighty Yah is. Yes, true. For us to labor with our hands, yes. us to work together. True. Sometimes we don't call all here, whole king, because we know we can knock it out with just a few. True. It ain't but a few of us here. Yes. You know how lazy you are. True. I know how lazy I am. Yes. But when we get together, we can knock things out. Yes. True. Totally not. Well, you didn't call Emma Sabea. Can I tell you, Emma Sabea? It's the oldest one here in this camp. Yes. Why would I call her? That's all she does is work until she's been here. Yes. True. Granny never complained about work. No. True. She never told you I'm hurting too bad I can't go. No. no. I don't even recall her ever being just real sick. No. I, I just don't. Can I tell you one thing is because she exercised everything. Mm -hmm. True. Well, she junk, yeah, but by her obedience, she obeyed the man of God. Some years ago, and it's been many years ago, Rev told me, he said, tell Granny she's getting a little thick around her girl, tell her to start walking. She told me she was going to start walking the first of the year. And it was in the month of October. I don't remember the day. I just knew it was in the month of October. I said, well, what hinders you now? And she said, you know something, Amy. She said, you're right. You're right. And she never, because she used to walk in Charlotte all the time. All dressed up, fancy. And walk. She just walked everywhere. That's why she kept her weight down. She walked everywhere. And she heard what I said. If the messenger tells you to do something now, you don't wait four months down the road. Yes. You're going to miss your blessing. Yes. She's been faithful. True. Ever since. <laughs> now he's telling her to pump the brakes a little bit. Just pump the brakes. <laughs> and she heard that too. Yes. You got to hear the messenger. That's the only way you're going to be blessed. You got to hear what they say, but man, you got to hear the man. Yes. You got to hear the man. So, it's supposed to be here too. Yahweh Baruch, you all, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let Yahweh be here. Not in your much speaking, but here. Because if he's really here, there comes works of righteousness that others can see. I don't want to go anywhere if I say she's so lazy. Who wants that say about me? She lazy she on that. She ain't never on time. Dean wasn't on time, but Dean was on time. Okay. She wasn't on time, but she was on time. Mm -hmm. And she worked. Yes. Sister that complained about sweeping her mouth on the floor doing something's wrong with you. 
the dishes got to be done. True. Somebody's got to do it. Yes. So you just volunteer, say, I got it. As Rob says, a child, you will say, I got it. True. I got it. Yes. That's all you have to do. Really? Take wow. great things like, I got yes. it. Yes. Always say, I got it. Rona come out and say, you listen. I said, when kids are here, you don't even have to ask me that. You know, I got it. Yes. I got it. Yes. I'm going to do what it takes. Yes. You all hear me? Yes. The feast days, when the feast, you know you got to cook a little extra. Well, you don't have a lot of folks, but we got a few visitors. Yes. So it's going to take a little extra. Yes. If you True. always think about what they got, it, it's because you're a wicked and slothful servant. Truth. Oh, VC always prepares. She's how many cakes she needs. Yes. And True. I usually tell her, she'll do that plus some. True. You can't always make excuses. You like to eat. If you like to eat, don't you think you should bring something? True. Bring something to the table. True. If you say, well, all I have is an offer, well, bring the offer. Yes. True. No, I ain't going to spend it because I don't need no clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, who are you? I ain't nobody. But I know there's a place called She In. True. And I don't know how to buy them cheap clothes from there. Do, if something don't work, do you think I send it back? No. I get passed it on to somebody else. Yeah. So I don't need no clothes. So I'm not going to take your offering buy no clothes or buy no shoes because you can go to Sheen and look just as tough as anybody else. Yeah. And what gain is it for me anyway? What gain is it? No, I don't get as much as some of people that are uh, retired. No, I don't because I stopped work too early. But can I take that little bit, that little amount of food over my life? that I do get. And I don't just think about me. I'm not a selfish individual. True. No. We got doing this. Yes. So you got to think about them sometimes. Mm -hmm. True. And yeah, I do tell them they should be beautiful. They should beautify themselves selves in truth. But I tell them about beauty. Yes. I don't care. We, look how beautiful Holly is. She knows how to match her colors. True. Her colors and hook her head colors. True. True. I ain't doing all that because it's too hot. But you tell them about beauty. There's yes. nothing wrong with putting lip gloss on. I want my lips dry and cracked. It was so cracked last night. It was crazy because I didn't get my water cold in. It was burning on that side. So there's nothing wrong with telling them that and to smell pretty. I don't want to smell like no musk ox. No, true. There's nothing wrong with buying them a little ball of perfume. See, we strain in a net and swallow a camel. True. We eat like the beasts in the field and tell them don't put no perfume on. You don't put on that. I shall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I told you, y'all, for all that we can do this. Just a little, we can get a great amount accomplished. Yes. As y'all told Jehu, you got too many. You got, it's got a few, it's only a few going into the kingdom. That's true. Oh, because people don't like this simple life. No. They don't like this simple truth. Mm -hmm. Almighty God, they said, well, we look old-fashioned. Well, yes. that means we identify with Almighty God. Yeah. He is yes. from the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's old-fashioned. Yes, he so we're going to look old-fashioned to each other. Simple. Hallelujah. 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 Plain. I don't care about nobody saying I'm plain, Jane. I'm a daughter to Zion. And I want to be simple. And I'm going to cover myself because our bodies are not meant for the world to see, to see our private parts. It's not meant for the world. You need to look different. Say, yeah, people look at me strange. I don't have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. I'm going to look strange. I'm going to look different. I'm not going to be loud and round. I don't talk to everybody. But when I see women of color, I do speak to them. Yes, I do. When I, they, some, you, you, you know, you have those issues where women think, well, she thinks she's better. I don't think I'm better. I found mm -hmm. a better way. Yes. Because y'all sure found me. Yes. So when I'm out and I see women of color, I do speak. Mm -hmm. can, can I tell you, we were brought up in an era where women have been abused. We've been rejected. So by us finding this, this new way, y'all sure how she is. We know what they're going through and what they are going through. So I'll just oh look at that whole oh, look. No, I don't. No, I don't. Been there, done that. I wasn't always clean. So when you look at other women that are going through things like that, yeah, my heart goes out to them because they don't know. 
So when I look at a young woman, I'm saying, look at that hoe. I said, boy, she need to cover that gun. Everybody don't need to see that. Even when you see women that are obese, I know that they don't know how to discipline themselves. We've come to the knowledge of this truth, so we have to make ourselves free from things like that. We can't eat all day long. I, I'm going to continue to say that. When you're big like that, it's because you're eating too much. When you're going through menopause, it's not an easy task, daughters. Your mind is confused. You lose your train of thought. But in your short on the sheet, it will keep. If you use your train of thought, he'll bring it back to you. You might have to walk back in the room you just came out, but he'll bring it back to you. He'll bring it back to you. So there are ways that you can discipline yourself. Like the prophet is on She fasts still. She didn't eat all day long. So sometimes you have to stop eating breakfast. Or you can't just do it for a week and think, oh, I'm going to lose a lot of weight because you won't. It's consistency and it's discipline. And you have to do it until you cross over. Until you leave this life. So having breakfast in the morning is not the best thing for most women that are going through menopause. It's not the best thing. Turning your plate down. So you say, well, what time would do? I would suggest, if you want to start it, doors, just let your first meal be at noon. No, don't try to eat the house. I have the house. Just start with something simple. You will know what's right. You could, I hope Abby and uh, Obi Kyle, we had started it. There are great benefits from it. And you have to, yeah, you will feel a little sick when you start doing it. But if you just wait on Almighty God, the discipline will come. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to have breakfast. You'll start with one simple meal. Then sometimes you'll fast two or three days. Because you have the, can I tell you all them back rows? That, that's um, food deposits back there. That's all it is. That's all it is. In your big arms, that's what it is. It's food deposit. Your big, I was telling Ray, your belly is the size of your fist. He said, so what is this? I said, that's extra dye weed, but it did I said, but your belly's the size of your fist. I learned that from Carolyn Calabria. She's a rock foolish. There's sometimes during the weeks that are always looking at foolishness on YouTube. Just study the black woman's makeup and discipline yourself in things of what you can eat and what you can't eat. Now, you can't have fried chicken every day. You can't eat Oreo cookies all the time. If you just eradicate really the sweets out of your diet, you'll see tremendous discipline and great results. I did find another black woman on YouTube. She lives in Germany. She said, I'm only talking to the women of color. Now, she don't start eating. She don't have her first meal till 4 o'clock. And she has great benefits from that. So there are things you can go on YouTube and find. Now, if you find and try to find somebody where you can eat everything you want every day, that's not about to happen. I don't, you know, even what people taking Ozempic and Wagobi, I wouldn't do that either because they're going to be uh, side effects from that. And can I tell you, the skin is going to become so loose and so un, I don't know, unattractive. But if you exercise and watch what you eat, you will reap the benefits from intermittent fasting. So I'm going to stop talking now because I know some of us want to rest. We'll go home and rest. But I told y'all for just having that time just to share that. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Uh, it's little tidbits of things that we need to know to better ourselves. I'm not saying everybody has it because everybody don't want to do that. But if you want to do that and you want to renew your cells in your body, intermittent fasting. Scientists are studying it. They're studying You know it must be something to it. True. But there's nothing new under the sun. It was from the beginning. Mm -hmm. True. If the prophetess Anna was already doing it, Yahshua did it, then we should do it too. Yes. Yahshua didn't eat all day long. He, would, he walked everywhere he went. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have had the energy. Mm -hmm. He would not have. When you eat and you get too full, the only thing you want to do is sleep. True. Mm -hmm. You're sluggish. True. You have no get up and you get along. So in order to have energy, you have to fast. Did you all hear me? Yes. You didn't hear me. In order to have energy, you have to fast. You say, well, does it work? Well, sure it does. I started doing this while we were in school. 
And I would be so jacked up sometimes I wouldn't know what to do. Just from the reserve I already had. Like I said, you see people, they cannot tell you anything that doctors have their hand. It's an, it's an experiment. They're experimenting on you. When you do stuff like that, can I tell you, you're going to cause damage in your body. I know you don't think that, but it will. Even when I had a hysterectomy, I thought that was the greatest thing ever. Well, I started going through menopause at the age of 36. It was terrible. It was terrible. I wouldn't tell nobody to do that. It was terrible. I watched it do damage to my mother. When my mother went, had her first hysterectomy, she started going through menopause at the age of 40. My mom couldn't even walk me down the stairs. Her skin turned dark. I didn't even understand that. She was so skinny, I was ashamed of her. Because I didn't know what was happening to her. So no, when the doctors put their hands on you, they're going to mess you up. You'll be messed up for life. So I wouldn't say that's the best thing for you. And I'm saying this because I know you daughters need to hear this. We're looking for a quick fix. There is no quick fix. There is no quick fix. We must learn to just be disciplined. Yeah, I sure say I call them because they're my disciplined ones. You know this Torah. If you know this Torah, you would discipline yourself. And then you help your daughters. We need to help our daughters. That they may learn to, you just can't eat all the time. Because that's what the world do. They eat all the time. Even, this is what Oprah said, she didn't know about uh, Ozempic. Didn't nobody tell her. Well, I looked on YouTube, they said this is what the Kardashians have been using for years. And she said, well, why the doctor didn't tell me? Because they don't want people like you to know. Yes, Keep eating the way you eat it. All that money Oprah had, that thing she could do, she could hire a personal trainer. She can have someone to prepare food all the time. You got all that money, you don't know what to do with it. That's so silly. There are going to be repercussions. What is repercussion from doing things like that? It is. In the way of getting around. No way of getting around. So just do study. Just look at the prophet is Look at her. Go back and read that. And can I tell you all these process rooms? I'm just sharing this with you all because, yeah, I've been doing a lot of research. And even looking at, is it Bobby Pry? Pry, yeah, Bobby Pry. Price. Price, thank you. And how he was saying the different things you can do. And he does it too. He's a big man. He's six foot two, 220 pounds. So he knows how to eat. And they said, well, you need roughage. Well, where do you get the rough, roughage from? Not from eating brown bread, wheat bread. He said, because that constant, it said it clogs up your arteries. I just found it. And I like it. You eat roughage, green stuff. He said, as he said, God has given us this green. He said, if it doesn't come from the earth, I'm not eating all these processed foods. He said, the processed foods cause your arteries to close up. Cookies and chips. And that's what we like. He said, you got to eat more and more because you're never satisfied. But if you, I say, if you were having breakfast and you had greens for breakfast, you would be full. And it doesn't take much. But if you always eat this process, this process, that, he said, you're never going to be satisfied. You got to have more and more and more. If you eat a bag of chips, you're going to want another bag of chips. And that's the truth. Well, it's not like I didn't know that. It's just that I like chinos. How about that? But if I eat one bag more, I want another bag. And it's like everything is out of whack. And those things will cause your arteries to close for the blood and the oxygen can't flow through to the heart and to the brain. So you need to understand that and then you just cut back a little bit. I, I, like, to, I like to do it the old fashioned way, just rip off the band-aid where it hurts. So let us not make excuses. Let us find out better ways that we can take care of us. If Yahshua is dwelling in us, you want to take care of him, right? I know I do. So if you want to take care, you've got to take care of you in order to take, to take care of him. If he's in you, you want to take care of him and you want to take care of you. If you want to live and you don't want to have exit.